Hi, and welcome to the more five minute St. Louis real estate market update for March 2015. If you'll give me about five minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis real estate market. First, let's look at some stats for the overall St. Louis metro area as a whole. And on our real time uh, market profile here, there's a couple of stats I want to point out. One of them is the percentage of properties that are on the market that have had price decreases in the uh, prior 90 days. And uh, you can see it's 35%. That's been steadily going downward. Uh, it was 38% last month. Uh, here's something else we'd like to keep an eye on too, the number of new listings uh, for the week, uh, which was 887 versus those that were absorbed for the week or left the market either because they were sold, expired or, what, uh, or whatever, 830. So you can see this week, uh, we had a few more, maybe 57 listings more hit the market than what left the market. Um, and uh, that is a, uh, a reversal of the trend uh, for the prior month where it was uh, uh, the opposite. And our market action index, which indicates whether it's a buyer's or seller's market, is exactly the same as last month, a 31. Uh, 30 is a balanced market, not favoring buyers or sellers. Above a 30 is a seller's market. So it's just barely in seller's market territory for the overall St. Louis metro area as a whole. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit and look at the uh, five county core market. This is the bulk of the St. Louis market. All of these stats uh, are, um, uh, represent St. Louis City, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin County combined. This is our market action index uh, for that, those five uh, counties. And uh, again, this indicates whether we're in a buyer's market or seller's market. Down here at the bottom, uh, poor Franklin County and Jefferson County, they've been down in buyer's market territory for a long time. You can see Jefferson County, the yellow line there, is trying to make its way up to uh, uh, seller's market territory. The rest of the counties uh, with uh, the black line, St. Louis County at the top, and uh, St. Louis City, the orange line, and then the green line, St. Charles County. You can see all three of those counties are in seller's market territory and are trending upward uh, more to a, a stronger seller's market. Uh, here's a, a similar chart showing the price per foot, uh, median price per foot for homes in those counties. And uh, you're always going to have a, a, a you're not always, but typically have a seasonal uh, uh, rise uh, and, and, and dip uh, usually rises in the spring into summer, sometimes a little bit of a dip into winter. And uh, But if you draw a line from the uh, the right side or to the left side, uh, you'll see that uh, home prices are, are up uh, from last year. Uh, now we're going to look at our seller's market. So what are the markets in St. Louis that are the hottest uh, in terms of our market action index and are favoring sellers the most. These are areas that if uh, you own a home in them, uh, you want to get your home on the market, uh, the market's being friendly to you. Uh, Grover's at the top of the list with a 51. The maximum that our uh, market action index can hit is a 60. So 51 is a, a pretty hot market. Uh, you can see some of the other top ones there. Uh, the 63021 zip of Baldwin, uh, Chesterfield, Webster Groves, Maryland Heights, Valley Park, Clayton, and so forth. Um, at the opposite end of the spectrum, there are some buyer's markets. Um, the lowest our market action index goes is a zero. Uh, but the uh, lowest one on here is an 18, uh, which to kind of show you uh, pretty much the same as last month, although overall the, uh, 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 the, the, the lowest or the, 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 the ones with the lowest market action index have improved slightly. But you can see Rock Hill, Cedar Hill, New Haven, De Pere, uh, some areas there that are, are still buyer's markets. Uh, real estate is very local. Uh, and that's where we come in. We can, uh, our real estate professionals here at Moore can help you decipher uh, this information. Also, pen it down to your neighborhood or your zip code or your street because it does vary quite a bit uh, across the uh, St. Louis market. Now, uh, we're going to look at some uh, MLS stats. These are some stats straight from the MLS that I chart out here. And uh, some of the significant ones are the uh, pending sales. And, and what I've looked at here is uh, 2015 year to date, which is basically two months, versus the same time last year, year to date. And you can see pending home sales. So homes that have contracts on them haven't closed uh, up about 4.5% from a year ago. Down in the lower left-hand corner there, the uh, uh, blue columns, uh, that's closed sales. They're also up about 1.7% from a year ago. And the pink columns in the lower right-hand corner is the average sales price of uh, those homes sold, and uh, up about 6.8% from a year ago. So uh, all positive things there. Here's a chart that shows the... Uh, 10-year price trend for the five-county area, the, the core market. I drew a line there from the uh, uh, to show that where the current prices are and draw it back to uh, compare it to 10 years ago, back in 2015. And you can see home prices are down, even though they've risen. And you can see how much they've risen from the uh, 
the 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 p uh, the uh, I'm sorry the trough there the when they dropped after the the bubble burst even though they've risen they're down about seven and a half percent for that ten year period if we zoom in and look at just the three county area of St Louis City St Louis County and St Charles County uh, home prices are down about three point eight percent from ten years ago so steadily improving but uh, still have not regained back everything they lost okay a couple things here uh, if you're uh, uh, looking for homes for sale. Don't forget, check out uh, St. Louis's best home search site, stlouisrealestatesearch.com. We won't waste your time showing you homes that are already under contract. Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, all of those sites show uh, not only what's on the market, but also homes that are on the market that have contracts on them. And especially today when things are selling so fast, you just get disappointed and you waste your time looking at homes that aren't available. So stlouisrealestatesearch.com, you will only find homes that are currently active in the MLS and do not have a contract on them. Want to find out what your home, or any home for that matter, is worth? Check out stlouishouseprices.com. Uh, stlouishouseprices.com, you can get the home value in under a minute. Don't forget St. Louis's favorite open house site, stlouisopenhouses.com. Find out all the homes that are open this weekend, stlouisopenhouses.com. And homes are selling like hotcakes, and now is the time if you are interested in selling. If you have thought about selling or you tried to sell in the last few years, um, now would be the time, and I don't mean next month, don't wait on the spring market, uh, don't wait until uh, everybody else gets the message and jumps out there. Right now, today, uh, we're desperate for inventory out there. We can show you how we can market your home differently than any other real estate company in St. Louis and make sure it has maximum exposure to get the uh, the maximum uh, uh, activity from buyers and, and get the, uh, uh, the, the, the best the market will bear for it. Please give us a call today, 314-332-1012, uh, 314-332-1012. You won't be sorry. There's some legal stuff and uh, that's it. So uh, thank you for joining us and until next month, God bless you.